in the country at the moment, which is how we got to this runoff um, and such divided opinions on that in the first place. So let's uh, talk about what happened in France, how significant and historic that was and what that means for the world. Professor Mashari Monene is still uh, with me. So taking a look at those numbers, it's mm -hmm. interesting, right? It is very interesting. And uh, French politics is always interesting. It is. Yeah, you never know what will come up. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So let's talk about uh, Marine Le Pen's uh, mm -hmm. uh, and numbers to yeah. begin with. Of course, she lost, and it's the second biggest uh, victory margin in history. Mm -hmm. But it's also significant, isn't it? A third yes. of the vote mm -hmm. does say something, even if you compare that with her father's 17.8% uh, yeah, in 2002. If you listen to her concession... Yeah. It was not a loser's concession. She acted as if she had won by admitting, yes, you won, but the game is not over. Mm -hmm. uh, she surprised by herself yeah. that she performed that well, right. getting to the runoff, because she had to, they had to weed out all these other people mm -hmm. to remain just the two of them. Mm -hmm. The father she was there in the final yeah. was very uh, pleased with her. And she gave the impression that there is a movement. Yes. And the movement has not been stopped yet. If it has not been stopped, then France is ready for, for a, a big time um, uh, ruling. If you notice the, um, the last election, mm -hmm. the one that brought in Hollande, Holland, yeah. there was some sort of electricity in it. Mm -hmm. In this election, there does not seem to be any electricity. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it was um, an election to stop somebody as opposed to winning. I see. And the person to be stopped is this woman. She has come, uh, you know, they made the most advanced mm -hmm. as a woman right. in the, the presidential election. Right, and as a far-right candidate as and well. And far-right, especially yeah. that element of the far-right. Mm -hmm. uh, the winner, Macron, is also a right candidate. Yes, so, right so, centrist. So it's a competition, <laughs> no, it's a competition among the rightists. Yes. And so the question is, who is more right than the other? Right. And uh, Marine Le Pen seemed to scare people in the same way that Donald Trump seemed to be scaring people. Yeah. So there was that ganging up mm -hmm. to stop. To make sure Marine Le Pen doesn't does make not. it to the does, presidency. Yeah, that, 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 and that happened. But granted, Emmanuel Macron won, I mean, he's made history on a number of yes. fronts, he's the youngest president, mm. I think since the 1800s. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot on his plate. And even in his victory speech, mm. he did recognize mm. the anger um, by, he, he said, he understood the anger that had driven Le Pen voters. Yes. He has a lot of work ahead of him, considering his wasn't even a party. It was mm. a movement, it was a group of people mm. that mm. came mm. together mm. Uh, to campaign for his victory. Mm. Uh, what sort of work lies ahead for him? And even as you answer that, you could tell us about you know, where that leaves Africa. The Francophone countries mm. have a very strong relationship mm. with France, with Paris, the capital. So what work lies ahead for him and what can Africa expect? One, what lies ahead of him, first of all, to unite the, the country. Yeah and maybe continue with the movement that was started to stop a movement. Okay, <laughs> all right. If he can manage uh -huh. to dilute Marine Le Pen's base, mm -hmm. and I think that's what he intends to do, okay. by appealing to them yeah. and uh, saying, you don't have to be there. And, and can, how can he do that? We were talking a little bit before yes, we came so, on air, yeah. and you had so, some interesting so, suggestions so, so he, if he's watching. He might decide to raid the, the other side, uh -huh. offer them cabinet positions, okay. and say, after all, the ideological are not very different. Right. Yeah, they just happen to have a, a few shades. Mm -hmm. So uh, unless Marine uh, opposes, one or two of her people can be given positions, and then she can say, well, you are, you are still a you know. But Europe is happy. Certainly Angela Merkel is quite she pleased is extremely with this happy one. Yeah. Because um, Germany is the center of the European Union. Mm -hmm. And next to Germany is France. Mm -hmm. So if France pulls out, there's no European Union. Yeah. And that, that, that's what was worrying her very much. Okay, um, I want to read you a statement that was made by Theresa May uh, from London. And she said, Macron's win shows why she needs a stronger mandate, which is mm. what she's seeking yeah. in that snap election in June. Um, so what does this mean for Brexit now that France, even his victory walk, mm. was to the European Union anthem, mm. uh, you know, first. So where does this leave the UK and their Brexit talks? Well, the, if I listen to... Theresa May speak. Mm -hmm. She said Brexit meant Brexit. Yeah. But she did not have the mandate, considering that she actually did not campaign for Brexit, uh, as strongly as some, some of her support, uh, cabinet officers. Mm -hmm. So she's very shrewd. By calling for an election now, mm -hmm. when she seems to have, to have the upper hand, mm -hmm. given that the Labour Party is in, 
yeah. chaos. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so there is no need of waiting for the labor to organize itself. itself yeah. So they are uh, seeking a, a strong mandate, mm -hmm. which then can enable her to negotiate a good deal. Right. Because getting out, they are getting out. Yeah. But she wants to get out by having as good a deal for getting out without getting out. Yes, for and the people of Britain. For, for yeah? the people of Britain. Right. And now having to negotiate with somebody like Mangla Marco, mm -hmm. and now Macron, who is yeah. actually for it, yeah. they might uh, strike a deal. Okay. And uh, the good thing with Macron is that he's a businessman. Yeah. And uh, he has good, uh, he's got a good advisor in the wife, uh, who seems to be. Right. <laughs> now, what does it mean for Africa mm -hmm. and the rest of the world? The issue of migration that um, uh, Le Pen was pushing, almost like Donald Trump, mm -hmm. now might take a back banner. It will not disappear. Yeah. But it might take a back banner. The economy, because that's what he has to pay attention to, mm -hmm. might need some stimulation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when they stimulate the economy, they turn to Africa and other places. Yeah. Can we get your raw materials? Right. To, 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 okay. Uh, so and the Francophone countries. The Francophone frankly, camp, yeah. uh, camp, uh, countries. I think in Africa they are not angry. They are happy about it. Yeah. And even in East Africa, in Kenya, we. Mm -hmm. We hope that Macron's uh, foreign policy towards Africa mm -hmm. will be a little more respectful mm. uh, than uh, Hollande's. Mm. Um, and in fact, uh, it appears as if there is a global trend okay. against it's socialistic behavior. Yeah. And uh, because Macron is not one of those things. Mm, yes. And Hollande tried it and it failed badly. That's okay. what they're having. If you look at where they have other these experiments on socialism, mm. like Venezuela, they're having this major problem. Mm -hmm. So the, which en uh, encourages those on the far right mm -hmm. to look very good in that regard. I see. Okay. Yeah. And he's an economist, former <laughs> banker, yes. and a businessman. Mm -hmm. So hopefully there'll be some points of convergence between him and our president. Yeah, they are both they, they share some so they commonalities. Should. And they are both relatively young. Well, our president's older. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It does make President Uhuru Kenyatta look, look old. Very old yes, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah and he's just I mean, in his he's, 50s. <laughs> I know, right? And this one's 39. Thank yeah. you very much, okay. Professor Masharia yeah, Munene, yeah, yes. for joining us on that. And speaking about a number of issues, the Pan African Parliament that is holding its sittings in Midrand uh, this afternoon as well as the events that have taken place in France uh, yesterday for that. Okay, so we're 